Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. What I'm gonna to do today is to show you how to get a great clean sound out of a Boss Katana. If you like what we do, it would really help us if you liked and subscribed, and also click on the little bell button, which will inform you of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. Now I did a video on how to create high gain sounds using the Boss Katana, and we had a request in for how to create great clean tones. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna bring up the Katana app and we're going to start from a basic setting of 50% on most things. Now, the thing about clean sounds for me is if you want a clean sound to cut through a mix, you need to give it a little bit of grit. Unless you've got a very small amount of instruments, say like bass, drums and guitar, the guitar will cut through with those three instruments. But if it's a full mix, you need something to make the guitar cut through the mix. And that is gain. So the guitar in its clean setting is a really clean amp. So let's turn up the gain all the way full. Now it does drive slightly, but let's just bring it back. And what I'm gonna do is to bring in a treble booster. Now what the treble booster is gonna do is to give me all of the clarity that I need out of the katana, but it's also gonna give me that little bit of drive. So. Let's turn it off. Let's bring in. Now, when the treble booster loads up, you see it comes up with this bottom setting, and I'm gonna bring that back. Because what it tends to do is to flub out on the bottom end. Okay, let's, let's increase the middle a bit, and let's bring back the treble, and bring back the bass. Okay, let's bring in some reverb and delays. Now, if you plug the Katana in via USB into your computer, you can utilize some of the stereo effects. So let's bring in the delay, and I'm gonna choose, let's choose pan delay for this, and let's turn it on. So what that does now is give us this nice sort of spreading delay, but we're gonna bring back the effects level a bit. And let's high cut it, because what we want to do is to not make the delays interfere with the guitar signal. So we want to make the delays duller than the straight guitar. Okay, let's bring in some reverb. Click that in. So what I'm going to do, let's increase that. Now, again, when you plug the katana in via USB, the reverb is stereo as well. And to me, it's a shame that they didn't create the katana that you could have the headphone out in stereo because it's just mono for some reason. Okay, I'm just gonna turn on the delay again and just bring back the feedback just a little bit. Now what the feedback's gonna do, the amount of feedback determines how many delays repeat. So on 100%, it keeps going. And if I bring it back to say, I don't know, 15%. Let's give it a little bit more effects level. Okay, now, one of the things for me in a live setting, what I like to do is to have a bit of compression. So I'm gonna switch on the mod setting here and I'm gonna choose, if I go halfway down, we should get compressor. And then we can choose what type of compressor we've got. And I quite like the light compressor. <laughs> increase the bass just a little bit. And as you can see, we've got that nice little bit of drive that's gonna cut through the mix. Mm -hmm. 
Now we've got some more effects that we can play with as well. So let's bring in effects and I'm gonna choose tremolo. Let's bring back the level just a little bit. And increase the rate, which is the speed. Now, if we look at the, the foot controller that comes with the Boss Katana, what we can then do is to switch on the effects button here and we can turn on and off the different effects. So for instance, if I don't want the, if I don't want the compressor, I just push the mod button and I can bring it in just by clicking on it. The booster, if I do want it cleaner, Bring in and out, and the effect. So what I'd normally do if I was going out live is to actually take out the tremolo. And just bring it in if I needed to. So I'd knock that out, save the setting, and as soon as I push my effects button, I can then click that in and out. So I'm Paul from the Studio Acts. I hope you guys got something out of that, and I'll see you next time.